What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Movie Rays. Shadow and Bone may not have the notoriety of some other massive Netflix shows like Cobra Kai and Lucifer, but the series has found a cult following of fans who are dying to know more about where the series may take us in season two. With the second season just around the corner, today we will be taking a close look at what we can expect from Shadow and Bone in the future. Before we get started, be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos. Just a few weeks ago, Netflix decided to release a brand new series for anyone who has been itching to fill the Game of Thrones japed hole in their heart that has been left vacant for the last couple of years. While Shadow and Bone is certainly a different story, it follows a very similar path to Game of Thrones and is based on a series of novels written by Lee Bardugo. Lee's original trilogy is aptly titled Shadow and Bone, but she also wrote a follow-up duology titled Six of Crows. We don't know how far Netflix plans on taking the series, but if they decided to follow the books, we can look forward to at least five to seven seasons of this amazing show. The series tells the story of Alina Starkov, a young woman who learns that she has powers to summon the sun. Before long, she becomes an integral member of a magical community known as Grisha. As Alina learns more about her supernatural abilities, she finds out that her abilities are completely invaluable. She alone has the ability to help the people of Grisha fight off the evil forces of the Shadow Fold, a team of monsters that are splitting her home country in two. A general by the name of Alexander Krigan takes interest in Alina and wants to do whatever he can to have her fight alongside him. For a while, Alina believes she can trust the general, but this facade quickly fades as she learns that he only has his own evil desires in mind. Anyone who has ever seen a television show with a villain before probably saw this coming, but the show goes a lot deeper than this. The writing is bar none, and the actors have taken things to a whole new level, outperforming anything we have seen on shows like Game of Thrones and really setting a new standard for the fantasy genre in general. You have to. It seems like Netflix has been very pleased with how well the series is performing. While it may not be able to stand up against some other fantasy television shows, it has the bones, pun intended, that it needs to really set itself apart from the rest of the crowd and create a whole new subgenre of its own. We will have to wait and see how far the series goes and if new fans of the show are interested in seeing more installments in the series. However, by all means, Netflix seems to be perfectly satisfied, and so does the series' original author, Lee Bardugo. Lee spoke with Elle.com and talked about what it felt like to have her novels adapted into a television series. It is a very high honor to have Netflix invest in a show, so I can't imagine what Lee must have been feeling throughout those first few meetings and the first few writing sessions. In an interview, she said, it was so emotional. I mean, I'm an easy crier. The cameo was chosen based on when I was going to be on set and what the schedule was. I got so lucky because I got to be in the scene that I remember writing so clearly. I remember sitting there thinking, okay, what is the choreography of this? How are the Grisha people going to enter? Where is everybody in this room? And I wrote these stories at a time in my life that was so dark where I had no idea that I was ever going to finish a single book, let alone that I would write seven books in this world. Even though Lee was clearly super anxious about having her books put on television, it seems like all of her hard work and anxiety finally paid off. It doesn't seem like she could be any happier with how things turned out, and even with all of this success, she has remained super humble throughout the entire process. For Lee, it seems like she is just taking things one day at a time and seeing where this new journey in life will take her. We don't know if she will be continuing the series on her own or if she is merely going to let it lay and see how far Netflix wants to go with the show, but it's so amazing to see that, despite all the odds, she has finally been able to bring her story to the large audience that it deserves. This leaves us with one big question. When will season two be released? At the moment, it's too soon to know for sure. I'm sure Netflix was expecting a lot out of the show, especially considering how hard they are pushing it on Game of Thrones fans. As with most shows like this, Netflix certainly seems to have been planning to continue it for a few seasons before letting the viewers decide if the show will go on. 
However, in a somewhat shocking turn of events, it seems like Netflix may have already renewed the series for a second season, long before season one even made it to television. These rumors have not been confirmed yet, but sites like What's on Netflix are already reporting that they have received word that the series will be coming back for another season very soon. It's always important to take rumors like this for what they are, just rumors. But What's on Netflix has been right about stories like this many times in the past, predicting the renewal of several major shows like Fate, The Wink Saga, and Ozark. The renewal of Shadow and Bone came alongside a batch of other massive renewals, such as Umbrella Academy, Space Force, On My Block, and Lock and Key. We have no idea what season two may be about, but there have been some theories floating around that may help us to better understand the direction the show may be taking. We know that a lot will likely take place in the second season. For one, there is the possibility that General Corrigan doesn't die. To play off of this, his powers seem to now be stronger than ever, posing a serious threat for everyone nearby, even after everything he was faced with in the first season of the show. It seems like he will remain a force to be reckoned with in season two. We can expect he will probably stick around for the next few seasons, but many fans are wondering if the second season will follow more closely to the second book. This seems to be a trend that Netflix allows when they adapt books into television shows. They will often give each book a full season, meaning that season two of Shadow and Bone will probably follow the storyline of Siege and Storm. If we look at the summary of this book, it reads, To save her country, Alina will have to choose between her power and the love she thought would always be her shelter. No victory can come without sacrifice, and only she can face the oncoming storm. This is admittedly a pretty vague look at what season two may have in store, but it really gives us a lot to look forward to. Jessie May Lee, the actress behind Alina, says that she has high hopes for the next few seasons of the show. She spoke with Elle.com and said, because Kerrigan's got his shadow soldiers and then obviously Alina gets her own army, I'd love to see how that manifests and how that affects her, they said. Alina's hair is meant to turn white. I'd be interested to see how gruesome that is. Maybe it will take much more of a darker tone. That'd be quite cool to explore. In my head, when I read the books, I imagined Alina's hair to turn gray. Actually, not in a beautiful flowing way, like in an ill way. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos.